It's Indigenous Peoples Day. We'll take a look at what's changing across the country and our state to help better recognize the struggles of Native Americans. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Alaga. Along with Indigenous Peoples Day, it's also Columbus Day. As KGA 9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, the day reflects a change in perception of the role of Native Americans in our country's history and future. Indigenous Peoples Day is the same day that had been set aside to remember Christopher Columbus, who began the era of European colonization of the Americas. This day recognizes that for indigenous peoples, that began an era of lost land and lost lives. President Biden's decision to restore larger boundaries to better protect Utah's Bears Ears National Monument combines respect for the environment and respect for the tribes that see that land as sacred. As the first president to formally acknowledge Indigenous Peoples Day, he called for investing in the future of Native American communities and empowering tribal nations to make their own decisions. He said in part, quote, we must never forget the centuries-long campaign of violence, displacement, assimilation, and terror wrought upon Native communities and tribal nations throughout our country. Today, we acknowledge the significant sacrifices made by Native peoples to this country and recognize their many ongoing contributions to our nation. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey has also signed a proclamation recognizing Indigenous Peoples Day. Here in Tucson, Dylan Dobson, a member of the Cowlitz Tribe of the Pacific Northwest, is president of U of A's Native American Law Student Association. He was pleased by the president's words and hopes to see more action, like revoking pipeline permits and reinstating protection for wolves. You know, uh, respecting sacred lands of our indigenous communities, for example, Apache Stronghold, uh, among many, many others. Uh, and here in particular as well, there are a lot of issues um, that have been created as a result of the border um, separating uh, indigenous peoples on the north and south side of the border. And so comprehensive immigration reform uh, is a, a critical part of, of uh, you know, respecting indigenous sovereignty. And Dobson thinks rising respect for tribes reflects rising recognition of their voting power. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.